Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you're tuning in from the world. My name is Master Paul, and uh, today is February 7. It's a Thursday morning here in Hawaii, 9 a.m. And today we're going to be talking about why and how to expand your divine love for your divine creator. There are many of us that have difficulty uh, connecting because life is constantly giving us uh, problems I guess you could say and uh, how can we possibly maintain love for our Creator when the Creator is always giving me these problems and that's some perspective certainly not all perspectives so there's a lot of reasons why people have difficulty connecting maybe they've been hurt through their life and so forth and so we'll touch on some of these subject matters today and we'll touch on what some of the uh, spiritual guidance is to assist you in breaking through some of these blockages so that you can expand your love for your divine creator because I can assure you this will only assist you in your life <coughs> it's early morning here I just got my tea and I'll be sipping on it throughout the, the day so I'll acknowledge those who have tuned in so far. Welcome, Paul Quackenbush. Aloha, Samba. Welcome, Disha. Some of the students are Indian students tuning in at 12.30 a.m. It's in the morning where they're at. Welcome, Rosetta. Welcome, Christopher Ronan. Aloha, Thomas Schmidt. Welcome, Don Robinson. Aloha also to Phyllis Casper. <coughs> Welcome, uh, Pamela. Welcome Dan, Aloha Cora, welcome Candy, and Aloha Debbie Zita, welcome Sharon Dodd, Aloha Master Alan. And so thank you all for your presence and thank you also for hitting the share button to let other people know about today's live stream. <clears throat> there is so much that can be said on this and I'm not going to go into it now, we'll wait a little bit longer for the numbers to build up a little bit, but the subject matter uh, reaches a lot of people and the reason why very simply is because we are all uh, children of our Creator and in working with this understanding we can be challenged at times by the way life brings itself to us so there are spiritual wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us and tools that can assist us with expanding our love for the divine uh, most recently Master Shah has brought to humanity the wisdom of soul art love art which carries a love field and this love field is a creator love field so there are many different ways even through love song that we can expand our alignment to the divine and in that expansion we literally receive healing um, i'll be sharing quite a bit more of that interconnectivity uh, so that it makes a bit more sense welcome um, Rosetta welcome Sharon welcome Tracy Aloha Rosh Roshni from South Africa I think it's early over there too and um, welcome um, Dishna welcome Aloha also to Brooke and Gina Dupre <clears throat> so let us go ahead and connect uh, a very good start you know the title of this is how to expand divine love to your divine creator well one of the ways is by applying the four powers body power sound power mind power and soul power you know oftentimes we only connect to the divine when we're in trouble you know God help me uh, and and I don't mean to uh, limit to the word God you know I use the word divine in this example you might call uh, the divine creator you might use the word Allah you might use the word universal light uh, don't square your head whichever word works best for you is fine I will use them interchangeably and so when we talk about <clears throat> the four power technique and singing the song of love peace and harmony which many of you know I do each and every time I initiate a live stream what's the purpose of that it opens our heart it expands our consciousness and expands our heart and prepares us to receive divine wisdom it's truly a 
a uh, smart thing to do and certainly not just once a week when you join these live streams you should do this each and every time so let's start today let's place our hands together and you may maintain prayer position for a lot of people this is very comfortable there is a an alternative hand position which is dropping the left hand in front of the left the heart center now on your computer it might look like the right hand but <clears throat> the left hand remains in front of the heart center and the right hand remains in prayer position and what this does is it connects heaven into our heart center this is called a hand mudra position so close your eyes and let us fully connect and we'll invite in all the beings of light and prepare ourselves for this wisdom and blessings today dear our beloved divine creator we love you we honor you we deeply appreciate and respect you we ask most humbly and most sincerely for your presence today to come to sit in each and every one of our heart centers bless us to fully awaken develop and expand our divine love for you dear all of the beings of light serving the plan of the light side all the angels healing angels archangels masters and ascended masters lamas gurus sifus saints buddhas and bodhisattvas we invite the soul of beloved jesus and mother mary the soul of beloved Buddha, Amitofu, and Kuan Yin. We invite the soul of Muhammad, Krishna, Vishnu, Ganesha, all beings of light <laughs> that are dedicated to serve humanity in the plan of the light. We love you all. Open your heart to them. When you say, I love you, open your heart. We love you all, honor you all, deeply appreciate your presence and your love and blessings for us. We invite you to please come to sit in our heart centers. Help each and every one of us to fully open and develop our hearts. Align our hearts to our beloved divine creator. I am so grateful. Gratitude. And as we sing the song of love, peace, and harmony, send the love to all of the souls that we're talking about. I love my heart and soul send love to yourself I love all humanity send love to all humanity join hearts and souls together see all hearts and souls coming together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony sing with your heart let us begin Lula Lula Li Lula Lula la, li. La lu la li lu la lu la ha li lu la lu la ha li lu la wo ai wo xian er li wo ai zuan dan lei ang li ying rong her musher shang shang ai ping on a xie shang ai ping on her xie I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. We say how and thank you three times. How means complete and perfect. The first thank you is to the divine creator. The second thank you is to all of the beings of light. We've just invited all of them. Offer your gratitude. The third thank you is to our own soul. It might seem very, very simple. Expanding our heart to the divine creator can be simple. Da Dao Jin. 
is Mandarin Chinese word that translates to the big way is extremely simple. What is the big way? The way back home to the heart of the divine. How do we expand our love to the divine's love? Da Dao Der Jin. The big way is extremely simple. Something as simple as seeing love, peace, and harmony with purity in your heart, intention of sending out love to all souls of humanity. How does singing to all souls of humanity help them to open your heart to expand your divine love, to align to the divine's divine creator and the creator's heart? <clears throat> it's extremely simple. Uh, look next to you. Is there a child? Is your is your brother or sister? husband father wife uh, in another room are they next door to you do you love them who created them of course the same soul that created you the same divine creator that created you who created your best friend the divine creator who created your best friends friend at work that you don't know the creator so the creator doesn't stop with you all souls are under one creation so when we sing from our heart to serve all souls, what in essence are we doing? We are expanding our divine love. Da Dao Jir Jin, the big way is extremely simple. Expanding divine love, expanding our heart to align to the divine has so many obvious positive benefits. Let's talk about a few of them. Maybe they're not so obvious to some of you. There is... The highest wisdom, when you send your love, when you send your blessings to the beings of light, to the divine creator, to your heaven's team, when you walk, talk, speak, communicate in gratitude, not just when you need help, but when it's your, your everyday process, when you connect with gratitude, when you send love with gratitude, when you chant, sing with gratitude, communicate with the beings of light, with love and gratitude what naturally occurs it's a universal law comes back 1000 fold okay that's wonderful right comes back 1000 fold great I'll do it a little bit more but what is the positive side effect of that master Shaw teaches that love melts all blockages raise your hand if you have a few blockages in your life Suffering from depression, anxiety, physical pain, financial problems, got relationship issues. Raise your hand, right? <clears throat> Everybody has some level of blockages in their life. Dadao Jirjin, the big way can be extremely simple. The single fastest way to clear personal blockages is to forget about yourself. And offer your greatest love to your divine creator but how can I offer love when all he does is is bring pain into my relationships how can I offer love when every day I beg and ask for for help and I just sit here and wallow in in my pain and suffering every day there can't possibly be a divine if if I have all this pain and suffering this may not be your thinking but I tell you this is the thinking of a lot of people in humanity their thinking and their perception is opposite of where it should be. Even if all you can do is find love and gratitude in a few areas of life, focus on those and expand your love to the divine creator for those few areas. That 1,000-fold return comes back just like a huge love eraser and starts washing away those other negative areas of your life that you may be putting a lot of focus on. This is why we need to expand our love. <clears throat> there are layers of awakening, layers of expansion of love. And we can tell where we're at by how open our heart is to others. How big is our compassion? <laughs> How much do we think of others? You know, I think often of a story. Uh, it was on the news. This is right after the um, Japan tsunami from the earthquake. And it was truly amazing. And the suffering was just extraordinary. I can't even begin to imagine the suffering. 
but the newscasters finally was able to go in and interview some of the people that were impacted by this. And there was a, an older uh, man there. Um, my guess would be about 65, 70 years old. He had not eaten in two days. And <clears throat> along with the news crew came, you know, support. And so they were cooking food in the back. And so they were interviewing this man. And when they handed him his food, he hadn't eaten in two days. What's the first thing he did? He said, would you like some to the news team? who had been already fed quite well, of course. They came from the outside, coming in to interview those who had been suffering. That is a pure heart that is developed with great wisdom and teachings and the application of those great wisdoms and teachings in offering that food to somebody else first, which is one of Master Shah's wisdom. Offer your food, offer your drink to the divine, to the source, to all the beings of light. Why are these wisdoms shared throughout the various spiritual teachings in this world? Why do we not do them? The reason they're shared is because when we offer our food to others, when we offer our drink to others, especially those beings of light, our creator and more, their heart is open. Our heart expands. Our love expands. We move ourselves mentally, emotionally, spiritually into a place of recognition that we are not alone many of us suffer in our in our emotional traumas we're alone nobody loves me why can't i change this anxiety you know i fear everything whatever the emotion is it, it feels so lonely it feels so alone it feels so misunderstood nobody cares is often the perspective but i tell you <laughs> God cares, Creator cares, Allah, by whatever name you use, they all care. They are all present, and they're present the moment you ask their presence. But most of us ask their presence just to say, help, help me. Let us change our consciousness. How do we expand our divine love? By consciously, purposefully, Offering love and gratitude to the source more and more minutes of each day with more and more opportunities of each day. Show of hands, how many of you, happy faces, smile, offer your food and water to the divine, to your creator, to the beings of light every time, right? Dear heaven, please enjoy this drink first. Dear all the beings of light, my beloved creator, I'm so grateful for all that you do for me, my loved ones, my family. And humanity please enjoy this food and nourishment first I know my students do I teach them this in my 12-week course it's the first thing I teach them in week number one because you have to set a foundation if we don't have a foundation how can we become happier and healthier you know the big way can be extremely simple it truly can be how many of you are already on the spiritual path probably all of you that are watching today and you come across people that are suffering you come across people that are attention seeking sufferers yeah? we all know some of those attention seeking sufferers and they don't really want uh, anyone to give them a solution they just want to whine and complain and go on and on because they're seeking attention what's really happening for them at the deepest levels their heart is closed they're separate from the love of the divine. These souls, these individuals, they need this wisdom. They need to be taught to love and offer gratitude in every moment, to not seek attention outside of them, which is at best a temporary fulfillment. <clears throat> so we can be, like Jesus said, give them fish or teach them to fish. When we teach them to fish, let us teach them, but let us first learn and apply this wisdom ourselves. Because the solution is love. Love melts all blockages. One sentence secret, Master Shah brought this wisdom to us a long time ago. Love can be expanded 100-fold, 1,000-fold, 10 million-fold by giving it away. And those who can expand it the most are the beings of light. 
when we sing the song of love peace and harmony to sing for others Sunday nights this is what I do I take Sundays 6 p.m. Hawaii time reach all those who join we chant to serve all those with the condition of cancer we have no ulterior motive we just need to apply this long-standing ancient present common sense wisdom Christy says I stopped doing that years ago <clears throat> she knew this wisdom but something changed in her life challenges and this will happen to all of us we will all have challenges it's almost an impossibility that we won't have challenges one of the master teachers once said and I'm paraphrasing if you are are uh, if you're not happy then you're in a state of challenge you're in a state of uh, what's called purification on the spiritual journey but what is a challenge what is a purification on the spiritual journey what is a spiritual journey the spiritual journey is awakening to the love that is always there be really clear about that a few days ago uh, about last week I think I taught on the difference between uh, the dimensions and frequencies if you haven't watched that go back on my timeline and watch it one of the slices of wisdom in there is that all the beings of light and God and source are all around us at all times literally all around us but we can't feel them see them touch them because our uh, physical vessel has the five senses and the additional senses have not been opened up correctly or enough well what opens them up love opening our heart the simple effect of singing love peace and harmony for others the simple effect of offering love and gratitude to the divine throughout the day offering our food offering our drink throughout the day these very simple efforts start to bring a cascade of love to you individually you don't do it to receive the love you do it to give and then what happens some of our pain and suffering becomes less our blockages become less our perspective is not on our stuff we have our own mental cages literally we have our own mental emotional cages we can say it's from outside of us we can say this is what started it that's what started it we can point to the person that hit us in the car accident that brought the neck pain that brought the, the, the you know whatever blah 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 we can point outside of us all day long the bottom line is it's our own created Shen Qi and Jing blockages Shen Qi Jing master Sha wisdom Shen is soul heart mind blockages soul blockages our own personal karmas our own mistakes where we harmed by by our thoughts words and actions others our ancestors may have made some mistakes that impacts us our uh, heart level blockages greed corruption lack of spiritual wisdom anger the list goes on heart level blockages mind blockages negative mindsets attitudes beliefs where do these come from you think they just popped into your head accidentally you think these pain just popped into your life just I didn't do anything they just popped into my life and I don't know what caused it no these are Shen Qi Jing blockages they enter our life because we earned them no different than when you have excellent relationships you earned it congratulations you did good things in relationships you helped others you helped others be happier and healthier in relationships you have not tarnished or damaged relationships therefore you're in a good relationship but if you're in a terrible relationship and you have excellent finances no issues at all great you've helped up with finances but not so much in relationships these are our personal Shen Qi Jing blockages stop pointing the finger outside of yourself how then do we solve these Da Dao Jir Jin the big way is extremely simple give your love to heaven open your heart give your love to God Tao, Source, Buddha, Allah, Krishna, Ganesha, Vishnu, Jesus, Mother Mary, whoever you believe. Not just one minute, not just two minutes. We'll do maybe five, ten minutes of practice today. Insufficient. This is a life effort. Life is a marathon, not a race. You don't just do things for a day or two and, oop, I forgot. If you find yourself in suffering if you come across somebody else who is suffering 
this is the way in which you can assist them the best. Bring the song of love, peace, and harmony into their environment. Assist them. Put it on their phone. Put it on their computer. Show them how to loop it. Okay? Teach them that when they sing it, to ask all of the beings of light to serve everybody else that has that same condition they're suffering from. If you suffer from anxiety, depression, do not sing for yourself. Dear God, Tao, Source, Buddha, Krishna, Mother Mary, Jesus, call whoever you want. Call them all. I love you so much. As I sing, please sing with me and let us serve together all those in humanity with depression. Forget about yourself. The more you do this, you are expanding your love. You are clearing your own personal blockages. The why, because the title of this is Why and How Do We Expand Divine Love? The why is to clear our own blockages, to align our heart to the divine. The how is exactly how it's been explained. So let's do it. Let's offer our love. <clears throat> let's do it first and let's offer our love to our beloved divine creator starting with body power placing our hands in either prayer position or dropping your left hand in front of your heart center this is called the soul light soul service hand position connecting heaven into the heart center close your eyes if you're looking at me your eyes are not closed let us offer our gratitude connect to your divine creator whatever name you use Dear my beloved divine creator, my name is, state your name three times, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I wish to offer you my greatest love, my deepest gratitude, my greatest humility. I am extremely, extremely, extremely blessed honored to be your child to be your creation I so love you from the bottom of my heart please forgive me my lack of love and gratitude please bless me my divine creator to expand my heart more open my heart to love and gratitude more and more in each and every day so that I can align my heart and soul to your heart and soul I am so grateful thank you thank you thank you we will use the song of love peace and harmony and as we sing it we are sending our love to all those in the song that are mentioned send our love to our own heart and soul who is the creator of our heart and soul the divine sending our love to our own heart and soul is sending love to the divine who is the creator of I love all humanity who created humanity the divine so when we send love to all humanity who are we sending love to all humanity and the divine do you understand so let us send our love with love peace and harmony visualize all the souls singing with us and repeat dear all of the beings of light who we've invited here today we invite you to sing love peace and harmony with us let us begin with a smile La li lu la la li lu la lu la li lu la. Wo ai wo xian er ling xin love. Wo ai zuan ran lei ang li ro. Er mu shir shong shong ai ping on a shi shong ai 
ping on her shin. I love my heart and soul. We're going to repeat that. I want you to send love to your own heart and soul. Creator created you. Love yourself. Again, I love my heart and soul. One more time. I love my heart and soul. You can feel the upliftment when you sing to yourself. One more time. I love my heart and soul. Heaven is sending you 1,000-fold love right now. Now we sing, I love all humanity. Send your love to all humanity. And in essence, it goes to Source Creator. All humanity, seven billion souls, send all your love. Let us sing. I love all humanity. With all your love again. I love all humanity. I love all humanity open your heart more literally spread your hands open to all humanity eight billion souls the love goes through them to the source creator send your love I love all humanity join hearts and souls together again join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you so this is one example what's another example master Jah has brought us the mantra da i the greatest love da means the greatest a i is a mandarin chinese words word that means love I da I means greatest love. We can sing da I, sending our love to our beloved Creator. We can add value to that by tracing the da I greatest love calligraphy. When we chant, when we sing to send greatest love to or for someone else, some other condition some other uh, being what are we doing we are clearing our own stuff we are expanding our love because we're going outside of our stuff it's our stuff that creates the pain and suffering it's the going outside of our stuff and giving unconditional love to others that clears our pain and suffering it's simple math now let us offer die the greatest love to choose one or more beings of light that you resonate with maybe it's krishna maybe it's jesus maybe it's buddha or kuan yin maybe it's several of them call their souls bring their souls ask their soul please come i wish to offer you my greatest love do that now 10 seconds I wish to offer you my greatest love open your heart sing to them it's not just song it's the physical aspect of opening your heart let us serve them unconditionally die 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 See love radiating out of your heart like waves. Da, I, 
die, die, die. Greatest love, unconditional love. Melts all blockages, purifies the heart and soul. Greatest love, unconditional love. Send unconditional love. Melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Die, 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 die. Da I da I da I da I greatest love, greatest love. Literally see the love going out and out and out to all the beings of light. Greatest love. Greatest love. Da I da. Greatest love, da I da I. Greatest love, and now just feel the love radiating back to you. All of these beings of light, they're not keeping this love. No, they are sending it back to you 100, 1,000 fold. Open your heart to receive the love. Feel it melt your blockages. Their love erases our spiritual suffering. Let us send more love from our hearts. Da I 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 da Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. Open your heart to feel God's love. Literally, you are surrounded by all the beings of light. They are always there. I can feel my crown chakra very lit up, vibrating. The beings of light are so present around each and every one of you. They are giving you their love 100%. You must open your heart to receive it. Why? Do we suffer? 
we made mistakes. When we offer our greatest love and step outside of our own suffering, that is when our healing occurs. When we give love unconditionally to all souls and humanity, and we open our heart to receive their love, we can clear our blockages much faster. Let us sing one more round of love, peace, and harmony, serving all humanity. Let us sing. Lo la lo la li. Lo la lo la la li. Lo la lo la li. Lo la lo la li. Lo la. Lu la li, lu la. Wo ai wo xian er lin, wo ai zhan zhan lei. Ang li ying rong er mu shen shong, shong ai ping. On a shiong I ping on her she I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony keep your eyes closed feel the peace the calmness the lack of mental chatter feel the love the vibration this is only 10 minutes of offering love it is impossible to suffer when you are serving others unconditionally it is impossible to suffer when we are in a space of gratitude and love these are the big way dada jirjen offer our gratitude bow your head and gratitude we thank our beloved divine creator we cannot bow our heads enough to all of the beings of light you unconditionally serve us every day you save our lives and we are not even aware of it you guide us each and every day to avoid mistakes and make better choices. We cannot bow our heads in gratitude enough. We thank our beloved divine and all of the beings of light, including our heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, for feeding us and nourishing us, providing a roof over our head, blessing and taking care of our loved ones family members and more for bringing to us the highest and best conditions possible even though we have created our own blockages we thank you for your patience your love your understanding and your continued service we will continue to serve others to assist them to be happier and healthier by singing for them and by being more grateful thank you all countless bow downs countless bow downs countless bow downs feel the purity of this last 10 or 15 minutes notice how empty your mind is how open your heart is 15 minutes how much time in the day do we spend on suffering when we could literally derail it and 
send huge power to unwind it by getting out of our own stuff. This is the simple wisdom. This is the highest wisdom. For those that came in late, watch from the beginning. About eight, ten minutes in, up from the beginning, you actually start getting tidbits of wisdom. So, simple wisdom is the biggest wisdom. The hardest thing to do for many people is to remember to do it more and more each day. Start by offering your food and water to heaven, Tao and Source, Creator, all the beings of light by whichever name you know them by. Offer this to them every day. Wake up in the morning with gratitude. Ask forgiveness for the mistakes you've made. Open your heart. For those that need that extra boost or they just want to open their heart more, I'm offering a crown chakra blessing for opening your heart more to your divine creator. Divine's heart is wide open for you. We need to open our heart more to align to the divine creator. This crown chakra blessing is a two-minute pure love blessing. It's extraordinary. I've offered it many times before. The results are amazing. And it assists people to open their heart more to the divine. Today, I am going to offer it to Diana Novello. She has a specific condition that she's been suffering from. And this is my gift to her. I'm going to ask those that have third eye to offer any images that they see. And all of you can experience the power and significance of this crown chakra blessing. I will do a short soul reading after the blessing so everybody understands the power and significance of this crown chakra blessing. So I hope, Diana, you are present and ready to receive. Sit up straight. Diana Novello, sit up straight, prepare to receive. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. Put your feet flat on the floor. Touch your tongue gently to the roof of your mouth and relax your thought. Relax your breath. Relax your shoulders. Place your palms on your lower abdomen. Prepare to receive. I am preparing myself. This blessing for Diana is as appropriate. Crown chakra blessing. Tao soul light crown chakra blessing for Diana Novello. Start. I will sing love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Lula Ali Lula Wo I wash in Harley Wo I slan and lay only long her musher show. Xiong I ping on her she Xiong I ping on her she I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, 
of peace and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Diana, you are extremely blessed. I will now offer a short soul reading as to the power and significance of this blessing for Diana. And anyone that chooses to receive this blessing, I will do the same for you. How? This is Yen Wan Ye, leader of the Akashic Records. Our beloved Diana is extremely blessed on this day. She has significant blockages in the heart center that have impeded her in her ability to open her heart and align to the divine. These show up in ways that are quite uncomfortable and unpleasant in her life. With these blessings today, there will be easier alignment to the source, a release of negative mindsets and thinking that has kept her in a loop it is important that our beloved Diana continue to apply the wisdom and practices shared on this day. For the continued opening of her heart will allow the continued healing process. This blessing has set a large footprint to open for the highest possible results it is now up to her as it would be to each of you who receives this to do the next step she is very loved she is very blessed this is yen wan ye how 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 thank you thank you thank you congratulations diana so if you are uh, still present Diana, i know you had a task but if you're still present Please um, share anything you wish to share about this blessing. And if any of you had any third eye images during the delivery of this blessing, you're welcome to share that. So uh, there is a link that Kristen Rojas just posted also at the top of uh, when I start this live stream. I list the title and a link. On both of those, uh, it links to the ability to register for this blessing for yourself, along with five other uh, extraordinary for other extraordinary crown chakra blessings. So these are, uh, what happens during these blessings is literally heaven's positive Shen Qi Jing comes in. Positive virtue, that's what uh, uh, Shen Qi Jing can be virtue or it can be uh, negative energies. And heaven, of course, is virtuous energies. So heaven's positive virtue rains down on the person's Akashic record. And it rains down on the person's soul, which then impacts their heart, mind, energy and body and as this uh, washing away of negative energies occurs at for this individual at the level of soul clearing the negative Shen Qi Jing blockages the mindsets disappear now the heart opens the greed and the and the, and the blockages of the heart uh, disappear the energy which has been impeding the um, the healing of the area starts to move properly it's no longer impeded by the by the uh, karmic blockages if you will and then the, uh, the matter starts to adjust at the level of the physical body this is what occurs when someone receives a Tao blessing so you can register for these the crown chakra blessing can literally clear years of suffering in a very short period of time it's exceptionally powerful for relationships if you have a, a love relationship with another person it's a little troubled right now this blessing literally goes to the soul of the relationship uh, it's good of course for alignment with the divine and there's three other blessings uh, including 
uh, opening your heart to love again maybe you've had difficulty opening your heart to love again maybe your heart's been closed because of a lost uh, loved one a loved one has just passed on or um, uh, they left you for some reason you don't know and your heart's still hurting uh, another possibility of a blessing for this is to uh, find true love and so all of these are available <clears throat> um, you can follow the link and you can also Facebook message me directly uh, and I can assist you that way so I look forward to serving you and I'm so grateful for this opportunity to serve Diana it looks like she did have to run to her task or I'm sure she would have responded by now so I'm grateful for your presence for those that came in late please go back to where we started this will become a video in about three minutes and uh, there's a lot of, of information that builds up to the practice which you may have came in at that really helps you understand the significance and importance of the practice for those of you that like the practice just go back to that and do it again and again okay some tremendous value so let us offer our gratitude we thank our beloved divine creator by whichever name you go by all of the beings of light who have come to offer their service our individual heavens teams our own soul we thank the song of love peace and harmony for all of your unconditional service we ask these souls to respectfully return Gong song, gong song, gong song. So I thank you all. I will see you on a Sunday, 6 p.m. Hawaii time, where I chant unconditionally love, peace, and harmony to serve those with the condition of cancer. If you know anybody, bring them 6 p.m. Uh, Hawaii time, 8 p.m. Pacific time. It's going to be uh, 11 p.m. in the Eastern time zone. It's going to be uh, 10 p.m. Uh, uh, 4 p.m. in, uh, in uh, the U.K. and uh, 5 p.m. in the UK and 4 4 a.m. excuse me uh, 5 a.m. in the UK and 4 a.m. in uh, Central Eastern time zone We're pretty early over there uh, but in uh, India it's 9 30 in the morning so you can join me and in Australia it's about 3 in the afternoon so you can join me so love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you I will see you then bye bye everybody <laughs>